needing 15 pounds, 12 ounces, $50,000. His four bass today weigh. Five pounds, three ounces, there's your champion! Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Great job this week. What do you got to say? Man, I don't know. It's all soaking in. I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm shaking so bad. My hands hurt. From I've got my hand on your shoulder. I realize you are. Wait a minute. I've got a little something for you. Dave Maxfield, Rayovac FLW Series Tournament Director, has brought you a little something here. <laughs> is this your biggest win? This is my biggest win. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2014 Rayovac Series champion, Zach Burns. Just give me a little big round of applause. 47 pounds even. Hey, welcome to the, well, it's kind of a post-game interview. I'm Jesse Schultz, and I'm joined with 2014 Rayovac FLW Series champion, Zach Burge. Zach, congratulations. Thank you. Has it soaking in yet? Yeah, it's finally starting to soak in. You know, I didn't sleep at all last night. <laughs> Had to turn my phone on silent, you know, just to try to get some sleep. And I'd pretty much just laid in bed all night just thinking about it. So it's, it's soaking in now. Yeah. Let's just say, I mean, Zach is one of the youngest guys that we had out here this week, and he came on top of all these old veteran, you know, almost tour guys that we were competing against. There was top 10 that was full. I think there was like seven tour guys in the top 10, but you were able to come through and do something just a little bit different to be able to catch these fish on the final day. Yeah, basically, you know, I just, I reverted back to what I do back home and, um, you're from Oklahoma, fishing from, Grand Lake a lot. Yeah, Grand, Grand Lake is, is the way this place set up, almost identical to it. And uh, it's a confidence thing. When you've got confidence, you, you fish good. And, um, and I had all the confidence in the world after I found these fish. Let's check out a couple of the baits that you used this week and talk about it a little bit. Uh, well, tell me a little bit about the rod and reel setup that you used. Uh, this here is a Phoenix, it's a Phoenix Rods Ultra MBX Classic, 7.7, um, seven, seven, and it's a heavy. Uh, Spinner bait I was using, this is one of them. It's a Santone Lures. It's a big spinner bait, big, heavy, three quarter ounce. Big blades, that was key. Um, I tried small baits. History says throw small in the fall. Well, I throw big in the fall. And uh, that sealed it for me. Now, you weren't the only one throwing a big spinner bait. I think uh, George Capiton also said that he keyed in on a big three quarter ounce spinner bait in shallow water, and you were doing the same thing. Right. Yeah, what do you think that maybe just a bigger profile bait in that shallow water made those bigger fish react to it? Yeah, I think it was just uh, the, the bigger bait, you know, caught the bigger fish. Uh, back home, I, I'm a small person. I like throwing small baits. Sure. Uh, I try to finesse things, but um, this time I. I Swing for the fence and big fish bit. Absolutely. Well, let's check out the other one that you use. I know you had kind of a, a two spinner bait punch going on this week. Yeah, this is the other one I had. I caught a lot of numbers on this spinner bait. This is a River to Sea Bling spinner bait. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. It's half ounce. A uh, little bit smaller blades, but I could catch numbers. I could catch a limit real quick with this one. But when I wanted big fish, I went to a big spinner bait with big blades. But now you were fishing shallow, and were you keying on certain places of the Elk River? Yeah, I was keying on a channel swing. Um, basically what it was, there's a sandbar on both sides, and all these log jams have washed up with the current and wind. And those fish, you could see them on the graph, they were down there in 15, 20 foot, and every now and then you'd catch them when the current was pulling through or wind was blowing on those logs. It just, they'd bite right on the face of them. So you were almost calling your shots on some of these faces. Yeah, at times I'd, I'd go up and make a pass and then I'd turn around and come back by and yeah, I mean, it just felt good because I could throw up there and just about call it. <laughs> well, it's nice to do, especially on the final day of the tournament. Uh, I mean, when did you catch or when did you kind of know you had this thing in the bag on, on the final day? Um, well, when I caught my last fish, um, I thought I could go in there and catch two or three good quality fish in the morning. And I caught three in 20 minutes, and my confidence feeling good. My confidence just went through the roof. So yeah. um, I caught another one, and then another one. So I had a limit, um, and then I called with another big one, and then I think some photos got out, and I caught my last big fish. And I said, you know, that this is pretty much going to seal it up. I think 
and it did. Yeah, we were watching the Twitter feed uh, all day long, and it started kind of towards that afternoon time. It started to blow up with your name on it, and I know your wife was excited, and everybody, your friends at home were excited, and it's cool to be able to see that and, and to have people know what's going on out there on the water, uh, but there, then there's a lot of anticipation for that weigh-in, and yeah. I'm sure your family was pretty nervous until 4 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, it's great having the Twitter feed and, and everybody blowing my phone up. I mean, <laughs> it shows that I have a lot of support and a lot of people that, that truly care and you know, that means a lot. Sure. Well, it sounds like uh, with a little bit of support and maybe some help from some winnings from this tournament, but you're going to be fishing the FLW Tour next year. I am. I, um, you know, I started fishing back a long time ago. I'm only 23, but it was a long time ago. Uh, I came through college fishing. I won a national championship in 2012. Um, I started, I fished the BFLs also for the past few years, fished the Rayovax, and I've been fortunate every one of the Rayovax I've entered, I've cashed a check, so well, that's great. that goes a long <laughs> ways. And then uh, I signed up for the tour uh, this past Wednesday, I finished in seventh in the points through the Texas division. So I paid all my deposits, and um, I, you know, on the back burner I was trying to figure out a way that I was going to, you know, pay for all my entry fees. and. This just sealed that for me. Absolutely. Well, Zach, you have so much going for you. You made the Forestwood Cup. You won the 2014 Rayovac FLW Championship, and now you're going to be fishing the Tour next year. We're excited to see you. First event down at Toho. You want to give us any predictions down there yet? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never been there, so okay. maybe this luck will follow me down there. I'm going to bring a big rod and yep. big baits and swing for the fence. Well, we're looking forward to it. Uh, we appreciate everybody who followed along this week. And once again, congratulations, Zach Burge. Thank you.